And I noticed earlier you said that uh, the ledger, uh, you're working on ledger. This will be shortly. Uh, what about staking? Would you be able to use a ledger with your ROI and be able to stake from your ROI? Is that kind of in the works? So, uh, do you want to take this one? Yeah, sure. So the one we're, we're working on right now is Trezor. So Ledger will come afterwards. Uh, but the staking itself is part of the protocol, right? So we will offer staking through Yodoi. But fundamentally, the, the staking itself is part of the Cardano blockchain, right? So when you become a pool, sorry, whoops. when you become a pool or when you register to a, a pool, that is a transaction on the blockchain, right? So Yodoi will provide the front end for you to kind of interact with the blockchain. Uh, but it's important to know this is not necessarily Yodoi handling the staking for you, right? Even if Yodoi is hacked or you lose uh, control over whatever, your data is still on the blockchain. Uh, that being said, staking for, as an iOS K priority uh, will be doable from hardware wallets, which means it will be doable from Yodoi through a hardware wallet also. And this is a concept that they're calling cold staking. So if you want to know more information, you can look up on your favorite search engine, Google or whatever, just cold staking iOS K. And they'll, I think they have at least something on the subject written up so far, or it may still be kind of in, a, in their delegation specification. But basically, the way it works is as long as you can sign the transaction from your hardware wallet, you'll be able to create that transaction on the blockchain that says I'm staking to this person or whatever. And then you no longer need to be online to uh, delegate your stake. Fascinating. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Rick, I wanted to just say that just listening to this, the barrier of entry for Cardano is decreasing dramatically. I mean, just the idea that you're going to be able to stake within Daedalus or Yoroi, and it's not like you're going to have to be running your own server in order to stake. People are really going to get involved in the system. And we're going after the unbanked population, people that may not have as much, and for them to be able to have a stake within the system, no matter how small or how large it is, it's very powerful, very powerful. I mean, just being able to participate in the system and earn ADA as a result of participating in the system and being able to participate as easily as downloading a Chrome extension, I think this is a game changer. I don't know about you, Rick, but this is I think this is big. <laughs> 